morning everyone it is a new week of vlogs and we've got kind of an exciting day today which you will see in a moment I mean, I guess I might as well not keep it a secret because I'm sure it's gonna be in the title of this video but Mike decided to rent a Tesla this weekend because he wants to test drive it because he really wants this car and he's debating on whether or not he's going to actually get one eventually so <laughs> What better way to find out if you want it than to test drive it? So we've got a Tesla for the weekend. So I'm getting ready right now. We're going to go pick it up. We're going to go gallivanting around Houston to try driving it. And today's test, since I just chopped my hair off last night, is whether or not I still remember how to style short hair. This is a different cut than I had the last time I had short hair. The last time I had short hair, I had like a regular bob where it was longer in the back and shorter in the front. This time I did an inverted bob, so it's longer in the front a little bit shorter in the back. It's not like drastically, but the, this is the longest part right here. I want to do an air dry test, but that'll be tomorrow. Today I have to find out, can I replicate what she did yesterday? Let's find out. Wish me luck. Not too shabby. I have to say, uh, I kind of remember what I'm doing. It's not perfect, but, and it's going to totally do that, <laughs> but not bad though. So we'll see. And I'm planning to try to curl it later. Hey, okay, we are in the Tesla. First time in the Model 3. Probably not the last. And you're wearing your SpaceX shirt. Oh, you're such a nerd. <laughs> Tesla fanboy over here. <laughs> Elon Musk fanboy. Uh, Do you know how to direct it? Nope. But I need more than what you're giving me, Tesla. Drag the thing around to aim it. Without the actual no. like button. Yeah, because I'm short. There we go. Now we're talking. I'm a short person. Thank you. Now oh, that's better. The air just comes out of that thing. Tesla cruising. I'm so happy right now. He's living his best life right now, for sure. <laughs> Not driving. Ah, no hands. Look, ma, no hands. It's crazy. See how it did Yep, it knew. Not gonna have it drive the extra right? Yes, yeah, thank you. <laughs> Preferably not. I switched to the music so that you can see who's... Ah, I think if you tap it again, it like expands it. So you gotta tap on it. Yeah. It's, it didn't cancel it. Oh. It's still holding it for me. Oh, jeez. I didn't turn it enough to knock it off. And it's yeah. like, okay, I can handle this. Wow. So crazy. <laughs> Isn't it? I was like, why is the wheel kind of pulling on me? Uh, I said to him, I said you ate the older ones, not the... <laughs> this is when you know I mean, Mike, Mike has a sugar problem. When his mom writes, not for Mike, on all of the trees. <laughs> on the two buckets of candy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, you know, they're her, they're her sugar, not your sugar. It's their house. Hi, Heidi girl. Did you, did you try the potatoes? Hi, Heidi did girl. Like potatoes? Yeah, she <laughs> so we're back home. We did a bunch of driving around the Tesla. We picked up Mike's parents. We drove them around the Tesla. <laughs> Had fun with the Tesla. Now we're getting ready. We're going to go on a little road trip to go use the car again and explore and get some dinner. So since I successfully did this today and this looks cute, now I'm going to try curling it and see if I have regrets for going from this, which already looks cute, and see if I ruin it. So now we're going to go for the curly look for date night. Let's do it. I've decided this window is for me because the dog across the street is getting his bath outside and I'm very perturbed that I can see him, but I cannot get to him. This is the worst. So I think I'm going to consider that a success. It's not exactly how she did it, but I did more curls than she did. 
and uh, it'll probably fall a little bit, but I don't think it'll fall as much as hers did because I did a lot more curls. I think we're gonna go to the woodlands now and uh, go adventure, get some dinner, drive the Tesla. Okay, so we are back in the Tesla, getting ready to go to the woodlands. Mike got near the car, so it turned back on. Oh, is that hard? Yeah. So now, in order to actually get the car to drive... So normally, if I had the phone, I would just get in the car and that would be it. Right. But since we're renting it, we have this card. And you put the card right there, and it's good to go. That's how you drive. No key. It has memory, so it's getting him back in his little driver spot. Now ready to go to the woodlands. Oh, it's by Weezer too. The car is parking itself. Where's oh, the... Is the Weezer one? Yep. I turned off the camera, sadly. There it goes. It's parking itself. <laughs> yep. It does parallel too, just self. Oh so. yeah, we've we've done that before. Do we do the parallel? Uh-huh, when we were test driving the S. Yep, I now we're here. We were able to do that or not. And now put the Weezer back on. Thumbs up for Weezer's cover of Africa. Thumbs down for the Model 3. Lies. You're a liar. Yeah. You hate it. Yes, it's awful. That's why we drove right up to the Tesla. Like the fanboy, we're like, we're, we're here at the Tesla store. <laughs> He's ready to buy one right now. We're actually just uh, had an excuse. I should probably do, should definitely pause that. We just came to uh, have an excuse to go on a road trip. So, what better reason to come to the woodlands and go to Lush? Ah, yeah, so <sighs> back to the woodlands. It's actually really nice out today because it's cloudy and windy and really not bad at all. <laughs> well, it's 80 something today as opposed to 100, so it feels pretty nice at the moment. We came into Sugarfina, which is new, and they have Moscow Mule gummy bears. It's like, it's still on my brain. Whole bunch of different, like, alcohol infused gummy bear champagne. These all are amazing. Aww. Oh, I said, so oh. mm -hmm. This place is amazing. And they're quickly pear flavored, so I'll probably love them very Oh, okay. This is gonna be this bad because yep. these are not cheap. Well, I know that. <laughs> yeah. This is bad. So, we're having our date night cheat night at Broken Barrel. And it's a tapas place. We have the nice view of a stormy Texas day. Beautiful. We got potatoes bravas. Crispy olives with a little garlic lemon aioli. Potatoes still steaming. And it's tapas, so we're just gonna keep on going here. We got the tostones, pork and refried black beans. Looks awesome. We also got some paella arancini. Awesome. Felt like you guys needed to see the cheesy center of that arancini. It's gonna be so good. We got a pork schnitzel that has, it's kind of a fusion because it has a peanut sauce on it. And a cucumber salad. You know this? I know Mike's down with Mike's de huh? definitely down for this. You love your schnitzel. I told him he's gonna have to do heavy hitting on this one. They're already pretty full. Here's the grand finale. Tres leches. That's fun though. Well, no, okay. I just have to hunch. <laughs> the sun is perfectly coming right through the car. We are... Bad time started. I know, apparently so. He's getting the auto drive thing set up. So we are back in the car. Dinner was so good. Everything was awesome. My favorites were the olives, the tostones, and the arancini. Huh? I lost it. Oh, we're gonna turn a little bit. Better? Yeah. The arancini. And then the trust leches was definitely tied. For me, it was tied with the best trust leches I've ever had. Uh, tied with chimichurri's, our other favorite restaurant that flooded and has not reopened yet. Your favorite was the Tostones. Next to the Tres Leches. Next to the Tres Leches, yes. So we're heading home now. 
and Mike is using the feature where it lets you, well, the car drives itself. <laughs> Look, Ma, no hands. We're going around a curve, so it's a good example. Ooh, it's driving itself. So, it will drive itself. The only thing is that they made a, a change to it, so you have to have your hand on the wheel. You get about 30 seconds with your hand off the wheel before it starts like beeping at you to put your hand back on because they did have that accident where the guy was watching Harry Potter. What was that? A Geo Semi. <laughs> oh, 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 that is pretty morbid. <laughs> Even worse is your pronouns. Your pronouns. <laughs> As I'm making fun of you for pronunciation, I can't even pronounce words. pronunciation. How, how did you say that spell again? Huh? How did you say that spell again? You went very Italian with it. Yes. <laughs> Machio. Because that's the right No, it's not. That's, that's the right way to say it. I don't care. <laughs> Some English person the, does not know how to pronounce that. What the British that. lady says? Yes, British lady does not know how to pronounce that. Machio. <laughs> he's got his hand on the wheel, but he's not having to do the gas. It's keeping the speed that he set it at and it's doing all the work so and it knows that a car is in front of us so it slowed down so that we don't come up on them too fast it does everything so this type of driving is when it's perfect because there's not too much traffic it's just letting you know do the menial work of driving i don't really see the benefit when you're in traffic that much i think that's all the benefit Mike disagrees with me, but I am also an anxious driver who needs control of everything. So I can understand giving up control in this instance, but on city driving, I feel too nervous about everyone else. I trust the car. I don't really trust everybody else and whether or not the car is able to react quick enough. So yeah, it was a fun day night in the Woodlands. Maybe I head home, snuggle with some pups, relax, but it's been fun. I'll give you guys like a full car tour maybe tomorrow before we return it because it's pretty neat. Hi boys, we're home. Hi. Oh gosh, why do you always insist? Why do you insist on using me as a stretching post? You know, I, I have feelings. No you don't. <laughs> Bean, what happened to your victory lap? I missed it. Oh my lord. What? Colby? Did he eat the couch? No, he was trying to work on the carpet. He ripped what? up the carpet. I mean, granted, that corner was already up, but seriously, Colby? And then they like, just like a little bit of it? Like, he, yeah, you, like, he ripped up some insulation. Didn't even like... What in the world, dog? What, what's that? What is that? What did you do there? No, nothing. It's fine. What is that? Look, it's back. Everything's fine. I see nothing. I don't see anything. I don't know what you're talking about. I am husky. I require six hours of running or I eat everything you own. You left me so many times, I decided to destroy your carpet. You have never touched that carpet before. What made you realize that that corner was up? You have never done that before. You do not seem the least bit remorseful, I must say. Are you remorseful? No. You a little nugget. So we may have gone a little crazy at Sugarfina earlier. Probably not the best idea to go in there while we were hungry. But we ended up getting the Moscow Mule Bears. Mike couldn't leave behind the gingerbread cookies. I was really interested in the black cherry. We both wanted the peanut butter milkshake. And then I had to get the cacti, of course. And then they had a deal where these were four for 10. And then if you join their program, their membership program, which is free, then you got a fifth one for free. And then she was talking to Mike about ginger and she convinced us into buying these. So we went a little nuts. <laughs> so these are ginger, what are they called? Hearts of Fire, ginger flavored. These are peanut butter toffee, dark chocolate sea salt, Fuji apple caramels. These are peach bellinis, and then these are Cuba Libre. Cuba Libre. Cockroaches. What? Cockroaches. Cockroaches. Cockroach. cockroach? There is a cockroach. A large cucaracha in the middle of our kitchen. That's you. You That's realize, you. like, that weighs up, right? Cucaracha? Well, a little overboard. And I got my sleepy lotion from Lush, which was the whole reason why we walked over there. And then just so happened that this sugar fino place was right next to Lush. Went for one $10 lotion, came back with a whole bunch of candy. You guys don't look comfortable at all. Are you hating life? Is life so 
Just the worst. <laughs> Look at this dog. Hi. Look at this dog. Just hating his life. Also sad that he chose this house. So I came out to McAllister's for lunch as an excuse to drive the Tesla one last time. So I got a French dip and a salad. Of course, the McAllister's tea. And Mike got the Chipotle chicken with potato salad. Yum. All right, it's our last time driving the Tesla. My last time getting a ride in it before we have to return it. You gotta get your key. Now oh, we're good. Well, it's been fun having the Tesla for a couple days. Mike is loving, loving life, although now he's sad because he has to turn it back in. <laughs> but it was fun to have it for the weekend, have a little adventure with it. All the roof, all, all the features. <laughs> now we're heading home so I can get my car. I'll follow him to the drop off spot. <gasps> <laughs> you had to do that one more time to me, didn't you? <laughs> uh -huh. You bet. Yes, he did. <laughs> so, yeah, that's probably the, the craziest part of it because it just takes off. Oh, <laughs> like that. <laughs> Why? <laughs> and there's just no sound either, which is the craziest thing. Because I had a Mustang. You no warning, yeah. I, had a mu I drove a Mustang for like six years. And, okay, my Mustang didn't take off that quickly, but it could take off. But it, it roared when it took off. This is, he's gonna do it again. He just turned the, or you just turned the music off. Just turn the music off so you don't get. Aw, you're such a YouTube pro now. <laughs> you're turning off, about to do it to me again. Um, but yeah, this one, when it takes off, there's just, <laughs> like that. <laughs> there's just no noise. Oh, that's so much fun. <laughs> You're evil. Uh -huh. Hashtag troll life. Uh -huh. It's the perfect car for me. <laughs> it really is the perfect car for you. Why? So if you haven't been in a Tesla, I just want to show this. And this is basically where you control everything on the car. Obviously there's no dash. So everything is on here. You've got like your quick control so you can fix your mirrors, fix your steering wheel. Uh, display brightness, such and such, this is how you open the glove box. Then there's all sorts of different settings for your lights, like the different settings for how the car drives, the infamous autopilot. Then you have like your whole music choices, you get to pick your music and everything. And when it's actually your car, I believe you can just set up, it's kind of like Pandora or Spotify, yeah. Spotify where you can make up all your own playlists on it. There's also sort of things like the, the air conditioning. Right now we have it on auto, but you can set it. And right now, because I'm short, I have changed. This is where the air comes out, is this, this bar. I'm short, so I have mine set down here, whereas Mike has his, you can just, you just move your finger. At an adult height. And it moves the air for you that way. You get it perfect, just where it's perfect for you. You can also split it, have it coming out. Like more to the center, or I'm doing it wrong. There we go. You can aim it, do all sorts of crazy things to it. So yeah, there's just insane amount of things you can do with this. And then what Mike showed me last night, there's also Easter eggs, where you got all sorts of things like you can drive on Mars. We're on Mars! <laughs> and now we're driving, and we're Santa. And other cars are reindeer. Reindeers, you know you're the mastermind. <laughs> run, run, Rudolph. Run off like you're far behind. Ready? Yep. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, my goodness, this car is ridiculous. So nerdy. It's so perfect. Cowbell. Okay, so we're getting ready to leave to go return the Tesla, but I wanted to show today's experiment was letting it air dry. And I think it turned out really cute air dry too, because my hair is kind of naturally a little bit wavy. So it kind of did the style I wanted it to do, just a lesser version, just air dried. So 
success. And now I will stop talking about my hair. So there's the last look. Saying goodbye to the Tesla. Goodbye, Tesla. You were super fun. And I know Mike's gonna want one now. For sure. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. I am on my way into work. Not really ready for the day, but it's gonna happen regardless. So here we go. Okay, so now it's time for So You Think You Can Dance. It's the first of the live shows, finally. <laughs> we went through a ton of auditions and academy and all this stuff, and now we can finally watch a dang live show where they're actually gonna perform. So yay! Hello, everyone. Happy Tuesday. On my way home from work, and it's trying to rain. It's kind of a rainy, drizzly afternoon, but it was a good day of work, and I'm dreading tomorrow because I have to be downtown super early tomorrow. I have a meeting downtown at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Please help me. Okay, so I'm home from work, and I'm going to make dinner, but tonight we're going to have carne asada tacos with pico de gallo, avocado, and lime creme. So we've got the tacos, steak tacos, all the fixins. My avocado wasn't the prettiest, but it's still gonna taste good, I'm sure. And uh, yeah, time to put them together. The tacos were super tasty for Taco Tuesday. Success didn't even plan it that way, but it happened, it worked. Watch So You Think You Can Dance last night. So I thought it was a super strong showing for the first live episode. I thought that all of the couples were really good except for one and it broke my heart <laughs> because the one couple that I think struggled had of course the tapper in it. So Evan, I was really excited for him to be on the show because he's a tapper and as you guys know I'm a tap dancer. They actually gave Chelsea tap which is the first time in the entire history of So You Think You Can Dance that they have given a non-tapper a tap dance. You could argue that they gave Lex a tap dance last year. But let's be real, Lex might not have chosen tap as his strongest, but he's clearly had plenty of tap training and I follow him on social media since then and he actually teaches tap at conventions. So he has a very strong tap background. Chelsea, you could tell she probably had some beginner tap in her studio years, maybe like early on but she never actually became a tap specialist is basically what you have to become is a tap specialist and that was not her. And they threw some watered down but still difficult tap, some intermediate tap at her. And she did good for the first half and the second half it kind of just fell apart. So I felt bad because they've never done that before and to do that on the first week of competition is pretty brutal. <laughs> I don't know that they'll ever do that again. There's been quite a lot of debate about it amongst the dance community on Twitter today on whether or not they should have done it, if they'll ever do it again, if it's fair or not fair. You know, there's argument that hip hop dancers have to do ballroom, so why is it not the same thing for a trained contemporary dancer to have to do tap? You know, these are the questions. <laughs> so I have a feeling that she and Evan are probably going home next week because two people go home next week. Like, unfortunately, because everyone else did such a good job, I have a feeling that the two of them are going to be the ones that get cut. So we'll see, but a good start to the season. I was dreaming of bigger things and want to my own life Oh yeah, it looks lovely. Just a lovely evening in Texas. <laughs> oh, it's about to pour. Definitely like a lightning bolt, like really close. <laughs> Way too close for Liz Comfort, but I'm trying to get home. But it's definitely lightning. That was another one, but that wasn't as close. It's definitely pouring. Lots of very close lightning, so the dogs are super riled up. Oh boy. Okay, guys, you know the drill. Zumba time. Yet another successful Zumba me looking like a crazy person afterwards but that means I worked hard so yay it's done look at those sweet boys who are those sweet boys so we washed the beanbag cover which you may have noticed in last week's vlog the cover was just sitting on top of the beanbag so we finally restuffed it or Mike finally restuffed it rather and it's extra fluffy right now <laughs> so I keep laughing because I keep looking over at Foster and it's like he's on this giant pedestal King Foster in his throne, not to be outdone by our blanket hoarder over here. <laughs> oh, you're funny. Good morning. 
I am waiting for my coworker to come pick me up, and then we are going for a full day session in downtown Houston today. So not much vlogging today until I get home, but I will see you guys then, my big brother. So I'm home from work, and I am going to make dinner for us. So tonight I'm making beef and grape tomato ragu with summer squash noodles, which is basically just yellow squash. All right, here it is. Here is our squash pasta. And a very, very thirsty ash. Looks delicious though. Pretty excited. Ash, how do you feel about the situation right now? Colby seems fine with it. No, don't. Why is he so close to me, Mom? So, hey guys, it is it is Friday. I just got off work. It is also Mike and I's five year anniversary, so I've got some really pretty flowers sitting in my seat over here that he surprised me with today. And I'm heading home. It looks like I'm about to drive into the apocalypse again. So um, I'll show you guys in a second what it looks like. But uh, second time this week that I've been heading home, look, <laughs> driving straight into complete darkness. Probably gonna hit a monsoon before I get to the house yet again. Yep, looking good. Time to fill in the flowers. Foster decides it's time to drink. So here they are. Not the best lighting here, but it's also very cloudy out, so I can't really give you natural lighting right now. But they're my pretty flowers for our five year anniversary. So originally our plan was to go somewhere, I think, I don't know where we're going. Mike had a couple ideas of somewhere I think downtown-ish or somewhere in Houston-ish, but it's kind of been nasty out and we both had kind of long work days, so we decided we'll hold off and do that sometime this weekend and tonight just have kind of a low-key dinner and go somewhere local so that with the rain we don't have to worry about driving in that. Just low-key five-year anniversary. It's crazy that it's been five years somehow. He survived dating me for five years. I thought for sure there was gonna be a troll comment for that, but he must be busy. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't know. All right, we're trying out a new Thai place. We got delicious Thai teas, which are some of my favorite things ever. So I got yellow curry. Mike got cashew nut chicken. Looks pretty good. It's hard being Colby, you know, babe. He's got a really hard life. Bean also has a very hard life. Okay, Live PD. It's a missing, it's like an escaped horse searching nay barhood. I love it. Well, I think it's bedtime. Take one last look at my flowers on the actual anniversary day. So it's been a fun week, but it's bedtime over here and the anniversary celebrations continue this weekend. So I will see you guys again next week for a new week of vlogs. Bye.